Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time it is, uh, wherever in the world you're watching this. Uh, at this time of the year we have a lot of uh, grapes in season, and you know, just coming right. Uh, we picked yesterday, so I've got a few grapes, and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with them all. Um, so I found a great jam recipe and I'm going to give that a go today. Uh, jam can be easy to make, some people find it hard. I think it's something that's pretty easy to make. Um, so one of the things that you've got to do is you do need glass jars and lids for putting it into. Um, one of the ones that uh, I tend to keep is the Domeo or any of the uh, jam or pasta uh, glass jars. Uh, so you're just so sterilising the glass jars, put them in boiling water and then pop them in the oven for, I don't know, probably about 20 minutes and that just, that sterilises them. And with the lids, pop them into boiling water. So I will try and get uh, pictures so you can see what I am doing. So, da -da -da. in there is 1.7 ish kgs of grapes. Now, they have been washed and I have pulled them off the stem. So, they're just pretty much, as you can see, just the grapes pulled off the stems. And they're quite nice and sweet for eating, but we're not going to eat that many grapes in the time frame before they all go off. So in my copper, I've got 1.7 kgs of grapes and you put about a kg of sugar to that. So this one's real easy because it's only three ingredients. So that's your fruit, the sugar and lemon juice. Now it said about three tablespoons of lemon juice. I got that out of one lemon. So it's a pretty easy recipe this one because it's just pour everything in at once. Um, just get the gas going so I can get that up onto temperature and yeah Yeah, I know, sugar's bad for you, but I've tried to do jam with some of the sugar substitutes and it just doesn't work. So you don't add water or anything to this because the juice just comes out of the grapes. Um, so over a low temperature, you just want to bring it up yeah. or stir it around with your wooden spoon uh, I can't be right handed anymore so let's try left handed and, and looks like way too much sugar but I know that once it all starts to slip down, it'll be fine. Um, oh yeah, you can start to see the liquid now coming out. Hang on, let's see if I can get a... Maybe that angle. As you can see, there is liquid just starting to come out with the heat coming through. So, yeah, I know it looks pretty gross. But it'll taste pretty good once it's done. Yep. So, I don't know if you can see, but quite a bit of liquid is just starting to come out of the grapes now. So, one of the ones that we do with it is... This is where I thought this one was really easy. Some people have one of these tools, other people don't. This is a stick blender. 
they do have a um, one that's got uh, more of a plastic. I do prefer the metal ones over the plastic ones because you can put them into higher temperatures without them uh, melting or having any issues with it. So this one is just literally... As you can see, it's just started to blend it up a bit. A lot of the other recipes I've been looking at ask for you to um, take the grape skin off, and this one is just. the stick blender in, give it a blend and literally uh, all the skins are stuck in this. Uh, there you go. That's probably why it wasn't working. And yes, I have washed my hands. Before anyone thinks, hey, she's got her fingers in there. So. Now I'm done with the stick blender. So, I'm just going to sit on it's showing up properly. But that just changed the colour a bit to a ready colour. Um, you don't have to blend all the grapes because they will just break down as they go. And I like a bit more, I like a bit of texture to our jams. So, that is literally how you make jam. Bring it to a rolling boil for about, oh, that's uneven. Bring it to a rolling boil for about half an hour and no, probably longer than half an hour. This one will take about an hour. So bring it up to a rolling boil and then lower the temperature down so it's still it's still cooking and it thickens as it's um, cooling down. There's several ways that you can uh, test to see if your jam is set. Um, one of them is you put your put a cold uh, put a plate in the freezer, and when you think it's getting time, I mean this is only if you don't have a thermometer to tell you that it has got to temperature, and once it's got to temperature, it will then set. Um, so with this one, I do the plate test because I like a certain consistency to my jams. And what you do is when it, you think that it's just about at that consistency, take a spoonful out, put it on the plate, and if it all is, um, if it doesn't run around on the plate, it sort of stays in one place, and you can roll it into a ball. You know that it's ready, and you you can then turn it off and start putting it into your sterilised jars. Some people put the lids on their jars straight away. I tend to let mine cool down for a little bit before I put the jars on. 
night and they do seal I'm, I've got some uh, plum jam that I made last year that we're still is still fine and we're getting through that so the next one that I'm going to do is I've got to go, more grapes to go and pick and I'm going to attempt making a grape chutney as well which should be very interesting I've found a couple of recipes um, but I think I might uh, alter my chutney recipe to suit this so that's grape jam for everyone and you know share away if you think anyone else um, can learn from this because there's so many of us that don't don't get to learn all the basic skills that um, to make it a bit more of a sustainable life and being able to use the things that are that we do grow around us and um, having them for out of season. Anyway, that's it for now. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.